Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I've been doing an awful lot of on-foot missions lately on my streams and having a whale of a time. And they're really good for doing some looting. So, for the new players and the players returning to Elite Dangerous, let's see how it's done. So I'm going to start off by pointing out that these are Elite Dangerous Odyssey missions only. Get yourself over to a terminal in a station, outpost or land base and you'll be able to pick up some of these missions if they're there, normally, in the combat section. We're looking for a raid mission. Now these raid missions allow you to go in there and basically terminate a certain clan or group of individuals at a particular base. Sometimes they'll just say just get rid of eight members of this criminal faction and won't give you a destination. In that case, what I tend to do is fly my ship directly to that particular system, scan the nav beacon, whatever, do some scanning, and then go to the points of interest and find out which base has that particular faction on it. Once you've done that, you can then fly over to said base, get the shooters out and go crazy. Make sure you've got lots of capacity to pick up some materials uh, for your manufacturing and engineering because there's going to be a horde that you can loot there. Now, I got to this particular base, wasn't many places to land. I managed to get my python on the ground and then sent it away. This is going to bite me in the backside a little bit later, but I do have my SRV with me as a mobile command base for dropping off additional items that my suit can't carry. Now, there's the base. Doesn't look heavily populated, but I've only got to get eight of these Charlies to make the mission count. Okay, here we go then. So, we've got our SRV parked. I wouldn't say out of the way, but kind of in plain sight. Shields on with the C key. Got our shooters out. Now, we've got to take out quite a few people, so we'll just level the entire playing oh. field here. Power. This is the beauty of the plasma weapon. It's accurate. It does take some good engineering. But it does help to have a good engineered suit. Now this base... Base by the look of it. Right, there's someone right there. Hitting a reload. The alarms have gone on. I'm not too bothered about that. Let's shoot our fella. There he is. Here comes someone. He gives a bit of trouble. I won't go down so easy. Really? The important thing is not to panic. People are going to come at you from all angles. Get your scanner out. This is a two, not ideal. Give it a good scanning. We'll get a security level two. Now what we've got to do is find other people. Now there'll be people everywhere on the outside. I always have a good look around. Who's shooting me? That. Now if you're lucky, you can get off a good shot here and take that out. Otherwise, it might just be worthwhile getting in your SRV. If you run shot from a plasma will do it. If you can get it. There you go. Have it. He's done. Certain things to remember on these types of bases. Right, they're settlement defences. Great. What you can do here... Scoot around a little bit. Right. Is turn them off from the control room. There's also an SRV. If you've got your Maverick suit kitted out, and not the Dominator, you can get these back panels. And they will give you additional materials. Same with that one over there. Go underneath, and sometimes you can get more materials out of this section. 
Usually that's degraded power regulator. Not really used for much. Some good assets there as well. On occasion there have been regulators that have been full, and that's quite that's quite handy. But if you look at that here, take. That's a degraded one. Right, anyway. And also you can get that panel as well, should you want to. It's time to start our run into the building now. Keeping an eye on the scanner. Looks like the door's open. Someone's come in. Here he is. It's a scientist, everybody. I have that. She's got a level three security clearance. Let's scan that. We'll have no trouble getting anywhere. No more cutting through things for us. As you walk into these areas, things it's worthwhile noticing. The environment explosions. Always handy if people are grouped up and you can corral them into a certain area. Entering pressurized environment. Atmospheric panels. Why not? Be wary of your power levels. Your running shields. Look for other items to pick up. In the chemical plants, there'll be samples you can gain. Take about two to three minutes for these to come out. You might want to go off and do something else. Tea for torch. Have a good look about. And here we go, we're up on one of the, some of the main levels. Right. Here, we have got some data. Let's download those. And while we're doing that, we can set the alarms off, turn them off, because we've got level three. And if there's a group of you and you're playing with friends, it's well worth then going and turning off authorization scans. But that also means that lower level combatants can also come in through the doors. Now, if you're at a level like this and you think, well, where is everybody? There are certain places to look. There's usually somebody at the power station. So that's usually good for at least one or two people. But if you go to the terminal, press E to interact. And then staff. These are all the staff. Okay, so there's Alice, that's a level two. She generally won't be in the power center, but you can track her right there and on the HUD. So that's worthwhile having a go at. Right, always worthwhile looting the place as well if, as you go. You can always trade these materials up or down, depending on what you need. Into this restricted area. Entering restricted area. Nobody here. Pick up those items. Why wouldn't it let me pick that up? Oh dear. Micro thrusters over there. Turn off the point defense. Nice big cupboard over here. Always worthwhile for a nice big cupboard. Micro transformers, circuit boards, metal coil. It's the standard thing. We're going through, we are absolutely rinsing the place. Now, you've got the Maverick suit again. You can cut these open. By far the quickest, inertia canister. More items just laying about. So it's Keen to have a good eye to see what's going on. Alright. Jumping down. You see, these sample units, they're nearly open. Which is good. Again, you can blow up some, area, some, some items in the environment. Just take on some power from this wall unit. Right, we should be coming up to the point now where this is going to open. <clears throat> What's it going to give us? Anything? 
Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. Yes, we've got a chemical sample, everyone. I'll have that. The other one should have opened. There you go, that one's empty. Let's get back on with it. Right, we're all sorted. Doors are opening. Great. All the way down there into the hab and into the power section. This is probably where we're going to find our remaining three combatants. Last one gone. Into the hab area. Pow. That's him gone. Again, picking up the items. The remaining one is going to be in the power center, which is fine. You can be selective or not. It's kind of up to you. There's always little items left lying around here and there. Infinity, Universal Translator, and GMEDs, depending on what you need for your current engineering. Right, and there's normally somebody in here. There he is, look, hiding over there with his lasers. Catch you later, skater. Now, <clears throat> while we've got power, go to your power device. Press R for its secondary mode. Jam that door open. Same here. Make sure that's jammed open. Great. What we can do now is shut that down, get some additional data. Loot the bins, circuit boards, micro hydraulics. Inertia, ionized gas stuff. Take on a bit of power. Now there's no one left so we can turn our shields off. Nothing up here. Sometimes there's stuff on that table. And then we just gotta wait now for the power regulator to be ejected. Nice and easy. And that's kind of it. You can go and have a go at that. SRV if you want to. There'd be some boxes around. Keep an eye out as well for reinforcements coming in. But generally, that's it. Now, this is a hauler. Just general, that is. Captain Thorn, shooting that, gets rid of them, good for them, and away you go, power, now offline, we go and pick up our regulator, always good for engineering, and other items, and we're done, we're out. You can hack the other boxes should you want to, but at the moment, I'm not finding it necessary. Now, because we've gone and raided this base, and because I've sent my ship away, I didn't want it getting destroyed, which was unnecessary when you think about it, um, especially with this, I've now got to drive 450 odd meters away, so I can call the ship in. Now, this will be a little bit of a problem for me, but not insurmountable because 140 meters I've got my SRV not the end of the world either but hey there you go we are on our way to our escape ship the shields will hopefully protect us so we can get up and give that guy a good paste in shields online, shields online. Oh, a little bit more there we go that hall is now going to get it. Finally, we can level action. Nice and easy. Get some good manufacturing materials, and away you go. 
I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.